Well, uh, I didn't think I'd be making another one of these, but uh, alas, here we are with another pair of fake shoes purchased from, you guessed it, eBay. Re refund's already coming in, so uh, don't worry about that. But uh, yes, these are the Jordan 1 High Tokyo or Co.JP, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I received a fake pair from eBay. And uh, they were not good. They were not a good fake. You could tell pretty much right away. So let's uh, let's go over. Let's go over the uh, the differences here. I've seen way better fakes of this particular pair, so I guess I got pretty lucky that these were so terrible. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. Well, the first difference uh, you can probably already see right now. This particular pair in the men's sizes comes in a gray box, silver box. Uh, this is this is not. Now, I might have originally thought, oh, and eh, maybe a replacement box. Okay. Um, they didn't say that it was a replacement box, and I probably would have returned it on that anyway. But let's let's come down to this label here. Now, I don't know if this is maybe like an old label format that Jordan used to use. I'm pretty, you know, new to the shoe scene, but compared to what we're cranking out now... Yeah, these shoes, by the way, were purchased from Goat. So, unless Goat uh, missed a fake pair and these are actually fake, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are these are real. Um, the label's not even close, uh, but you know the the numbering DC seventeen eighty eight oh two nine that matches over here. So I'm I'm currently being led to believe that this label is. Uh, a recently printed something that they try to replicate and it's it's not good. It's it doesn't even say that it's a high. It says it's a mid. Like dude, what are you doing? So, we're already off to a bad start. I'm also not even sure what like this little guy right here is like who's who's putting stickers on these things, right? So, let's let's talk about the unboxing experience for another uh telltale sign that we're not off to a good start. So we open the, the real ones. Lots of paper. There's a goat sticker, but, um, you know, properly formatted everything. Got the 2001 2020 with the jump man. Okay, we're looking good. Good paper. Crack this one open. This is this is how they were. That's how they were delivered to me. I know there's a shoe missing in here, but um, it, it came in like that. No paper on top of it. Um, this paper is like all crappy and ripped up. Like, it's not even the same paper. Like, it's supposed to be this paper, and it's not. So, that was another sign that we're probably in for a bad time. Before I even looked at the shoe. So, pretty much knew right away that these were not going to be good. So, let's take a look at the actual shoes, shall we? Now that we're done with the uh, unboxing experience... Let's take a look at the shoes themselves. So let's grab this guy and we'll grab this guy. So on the left, we have our fakes. On the right, we have the reels. Um, these shoes came laced up. I don't really know too many people who are lacing up shoes that are that they're just trying to sell immediately, but uh, that was also another sign. Some people lace them up. I don't think you can go completely off of that. Um, but I will say, what you can go off of is the color of the laces. Uh, here is the color on the real pair. And here's the color on the fakes. Fakes are a bit darker. Doesn't really line up. Might be a little tough to tell on camera. Here's a little side by side. So yeah. Um, now I am gonna do a quick black light test uh, just to really show off what's up here. Uh, again, you should not completely rely on a black light test to uh, to prove your reels versus fakes, but uh, they're a pretty good way to do a very, very quick check. And as we can see, we have dye lines on the side of the shoe. That's That's no good. No good at all. Even on the toe box, we have these lines. Whereas on the real pair, no lines. 
no lines, no lines. But there are other ways that we could tell that this pair is fake without using a black light. Let's start with the most painfully obvious thing. On the real pair, on the tongue, we have this nice little label, 2001, 2020. 2001 is when the shoe originally came out. They re-released it in 2020. Dude, it's like you're not even trying. This, it's not even, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. What are you doing? So that's, that's one. If we want to take a look at the back of the shoe, let me get these set up a little bit better. On the right side, we have the real. On the left, we have the fake. Um, on the back here, this little back tab, the stitching is much, much better than this little, little tumor that, uh, that they left. It's uh, not not particularly well done. It's almost like it's at an angle as well. So that's that's not great. Um, let's take a look at the Air Jordan logo. Here we have it on the real pair. And here we have it on the fake pair. The fake pair, the font. Much, much bolder. And again, I'm sure you can even see so like some of the stitching. It's a little, a little inconsistent. If we want to look at the toe box. Here are our toe boxes. Again, um, much more wrinkled. It's like an old person compared to here, which still has some of the wrinkles, but it's not as, uh, doesn't look as in your face. And I think that's partly because of the Holes that are printed out on the toe box. They're much more pronounced here compared to the fake pair. And then if we even want to look at the stitching on the toe box. Nice and smooth. And then we come over here and it's... I mean, I guess it's smooth, but the, the edges here are kind of frayed and not really that great. And then the stitching on this first layer closest... To the, uh, to the toe box here is, is a little too close. There's a bit of a gap on the real pair. Uh, if we want to look at the stitching on the sides of the shoe. I wish I had a better lighting situation. I'm sorry. Um, this is the... Well, let's start with the real. Uh, the real pair, you can see pretty consistent stitching. You know, no weird gaps or anything like that. We come over to the fakes, and it's it's pretty inconsistent, especially right at the corner there. We have that one super long stitch. Not really, not really that great. Again, the real ones. And then on the bottoms, the top pair is the real pair. The bottom are the fakes. Top pair, a lot lighter on the bottom. A lot lighter. I think we can get in a little bit closer here. Might be a little tough to tell on the camera. Maybe we can get it on an angle or something. Nike logo. This is actually not too bad. And this is the fake pair right here. Not terrible, but it is a little bit off. And I 
think that's that pretty much wraps it up. There's also the um, these guys in here were were a bit different. Uh, I don't know if you can really judge off of that though. Oh, the tongues as well on the fake pair. It's just it's just a little too smooth. Whereas on the real pair, sorry, I forgot if I said fake pair. Fake pair, too smooth, kind of weird. Real pair, a little more wrinkly. Wanna look at the Nike Air logo here. You can see there's a bit of a stitching difference there with the with the swoosh. It's the real pair. And then the fake pair, it's like the swoosh almost completely goes over the E. So yeah, that's uh that's what's up with the with the real versus the fake. You know, you think you can trust people just copping off a sneakers app and immediately throwing it up on eBay, but just it goes to show you can't. You cannot at all. You need receipts. You need good feedback. Even if you have receipts and good feedback, you still never know. This person right here had a bunch of very, very good feedback, 100%. And uh, when I got the pair and I was going to go leave a piece of ne negative feedback, uh, I had noticed that they had a bunch of new negative feedback saying they canceled orders, they refunded... Or, uh, sorry, no, uh, they refunded. Uh, they sent me fake pairs, stuff like that. I immediately messaged this person saying, hey, these are fake pairs. You have 24 hours to respond. And within five minutes, they said nothing. They just re accepted my return, uh, probably in an attempt to get them back to, to sell them to somebody else. Um, so I will be absolutely leaving negative feedback. But just goes to show, even a pair that's, you know, 170 resale, uh, sorry, retail. These are going for about 250 to 280 right now as of this video. Um, even a $250 pair of shoes. They're still cranking out these fakes. So gotta be, gotta be real careful. Gotta be real, real careful. All right. So buyer beware.